Hello good people! We have another exciting review for you guys today, and this review comes over from the good guys at Mods Armory. They sent me over a modded Xbox 360 controller to review, so that's what this review is on today. Now, Mods Armory, in addition to making modded Xbox controllers, they also make modded PS3 controllers, um, and you can find them over at mods-armory.com. I will have a link in the sidebar. I'll have all their links in the sidebar, so definitely make sure to go check that out. Um, in this review, I'm going to be just talking about the... Um, the actual build quality of this controller. I'm going to talk about the different uh, customizable features that they offer, uh, as well as the different services, and then I'm even going to talk about a giveaway opportunity for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you guys can uh, win one of these babies. Um, so getting on to the review, Mods Armory um, offers several different types of customizable features to the Xbox. Um, to compare the one that I have right here to the normal Xbox controller, which I have right here, you can tell right off the back that the um, the analog sticks or the thumbsticks, those are different colors and a different um, style, which I'll talk about in a little bit, as well as the D-pad. This one is black and this one is gray. Um, now these thumbsticks right here, these are more PS3 style thumbsticks, which are actually better for gameplay because they allow better grip on the um, actual uh, thumbstick, as opposed to these where your finger can slide off. These have a little bit grippy top the top. They These have a grippy top at the top, which makes your movements more precise, which is always good for game playing games like, you know, Modern Warfare 2. Um, for the actual color of the case, um, they offer black, red, and blue. Uh, you can choose to have a rapid fire mod put onto your controller, you can you can either choose not to, or you can get their 8-mode rapid fire, which I will talk about in a little bit. Uh, thumbsticks, you can either stick with the normal gray ones, or you can get their mod sticks, which are these black ones. Uh, you can also, with m customize the D-pad, you can either get a gray one, which is the um, normal one that it comes with, or you can get the, uh, the black. And as for the uh, ring of light, the LEDs, which are the LEDs around this, um, you can get the standard ones, you can get the blue LEDs, you can get red LEDs, green LEDs, yellow LEDs, orange LEDs, white LEDs, pink LEDs, and purple LEDs. So there's a lot of customizable features that you can get in one controller alone. I happen to have right here, um, this actually has blue LEDs, I'm just going to push that right there. You guys can see that this is lighting up blue. And let me tell you guys, this controller looks amazing. I bring this to uh, one of my friend's house one time, and he was just blown away, so... The look of these controllers are amazing, even if you don't want the rapid fire, because I know some people are a little anti-rapid fire modes because um, they're for, people say they're for noobs. But if you just want to customize your controller, you can do that. And the colored LEDs definitely add a lot to the controller and definitely make it look amazing. So I'm just going to pull out the battery packs of the LED stop. So, moving on, I'm just going to uh, quickly talk about um, their PS3 controller. Um, their PS3 controller, they don't have any sort of um, customizable features yet for that. Um, pretty much, they only offer the normal PS3 controller, and then they have a 5-mode rapid fire. And that's going to cost you about $80. Um, the reason why I didn't say the price of the controller for the Xbox is because that can range at different prices, because the... Um, the analog sticks and the D-pad and the LEDs and the case of the controller and that all costs, th those all have like different prices. So make sure to go over to um, their website to check that out. Now, um, I did mention that they have their eight mode rapid fire. So I'm gonna quickly talk about the different types of modes that they have, the, the modes that are in that eight mode rapid fire. Um, they have, the first mode is for Modern Warfare 2. Second mode is for dual Modern Warfare 2. So that's if you have, um, if you're a Kimbo Wing, a gun, or something like a Kimbo M9s or anything like that, um, they'll make it so that both controllers have rapid fire on them. Uh, mode 3 is for Call of Duty 4. Mode 4 is for all games, so any sort of shooting game that they don't have a specific mode for is what you would want to use Mode 4 for. Um, mode 5 is for Call of Duty 5. Mode 6 is for Gears of War 1 and 2. Mode 7 is Dual Halo. And mode 8 is Double Shot Burst. So Double Shot Burst is basically when you push down the trigger once, instead of one bullet coming out, two bullets come out. So that is their 8-mode rapid fire. And again, you can choose um, not to have that with your controller. 
Um, they also allow you to send in your own Xbox controller, and then they will apply the mods for you. So you don't need to spend money purchasing an actual new controller. You can just get the uh, mods added on to your controller. You just have to send it to them. Uh, you tell them what they want, and they'll send it back to you. Also, if you are, you know, a DIY person, a do-it-yourself person, and you want to set the, you know, the 8 mode rapid fire up yourself, you can, they have a new um, kit slash bundle thing coming out. It's called the, um, the RF71, which is basically a rapid fire bundle. It's a kit thing. Basically, it comes with all the things that you'll need to mod your, um, to mod your Xbox controller, they come with the custom mod sticks, they come with the black D-pad, they come with like a Torx driver and a soldering iron, and basically it has everything that you would need to customize your own controller if you don't want to send it into them. Um, currently, that's not released yet, but that's being released soon, so uh, make sure to go over to their site and see how much that costs. Um, maybe you guys want to try doing it yourself, make a, maybe make a tutorial on it. So... You know, that's pretty much it. That's Mods Armory, custom Xbox 360, and PS3 controllers. Now, I did mention that there is going to be a giveaway opportunity for this, and Mods Armory is very generous in that every Thursday, that's right, Thursday, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they give away a free modded Xbox controller. Basically, the requirements for that is that all you have to do is just be subscribed to their channel. You subscribe to their channel, and what they do is... Every Thursday, they're going to go to a random page of their subscribers, choose a random one, send you a message saying, hey, you want to win a free controller? Message that's back. You have 24 hours to respond, and you can pick out any sort of customizable feature that you want to have on your Xbox controller. So um, I will have a link to their YouTube in the side. may even have an annotation, so click that. Make sure you guys are subscribed to them, and if you do happen to win one of their giveaways, they will come and contact you. Um, I also may, may this may be in the future, maybe me and Mods Army will do something where I do a giveaway for an Xbox controller on my channel, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, this is my review of the um, Mods Army's modded Xbox 360 controller. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out all the links from Mods Army. They will be in the sidebar. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next week in my new video. So, take care.